In this video, I share with you the first tip out of four that will make your IELTS Academic Writing Task 2 introduction much more interesting and will, make, will also make your essay stand out. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dori, I'm a teacher of English and this video is the first video of a series of videos uh, in which I will show you how you can make your introduction much more engaging, much more interesting for the reader. Now, um, if you're looking for the basic structure of an introduction in which you paraphrase the topic, uh, then you will need to watch another video, the link of which is somewhere around here and of course in the description box below. Uh, in a basic structure, you just paraphrase the topic uh, given. So in this video today I go beyond that and I give you another tip on how to start uh, writing an introduction, a way to start writing an engaging introduction and it will go beyond paraphrasing that, you, uh, that I assume you already know how to do. Hopefully this tip will help you get started without getting stuck and it will also improve your score as a whole. So let's get started. Way number one of uh, starting an introduction, this is what we're going to talk about today, and it is address the reader directly. Start your introduction by talking, let's just say, to the reader as if you had him in front of you. In this way, you have his full attention right away and your writing becomes much more engaging. So, let's have a look at an example topic. The popularity of social media is highly regrettable. They dominate teenagers' time at the expense of more beneficial activities. Do you agree or disagree? So, this is our topic. Apart from paraphrasing the topic, which is the first step towards uh, writing uh, a successful introduction, I will show you the way you can do that by addressing the reader as well. So, let's go and have a look at an example introduction. The rapid development of technology is an undoubted fact that has dominated our everyday lives. And it is not something we can avoid. In my opinion, we should ensure that our children become computer literate from an early age so they can deal with the demands of the future. As, we, as you can see, we have used our, uh, our children, not something we can avoid, our everyday lives. Now, I know that I have told you in previous videos uh, that you shouldn't use personal pronouns in a formal essay. That is, we, us, our, you, your, etc. should be avoided and I still firmly believe that you should avoid them. However, in cases like these, when you use them in your introduction in order to address the reader directly and to make him part of a whole, um, part of something universal that affects all of us, then they are accepted. Of course, I still believe that you shouldn't move on using them in the main body of your essay. As you can see in this introduction, because it is a topic that affects all of us, and most topics could be like that, the writer, the writer included the reader as part of this, so this is a, a smart thing to do. So, if you don't know how to start writing an introduction apart from paraphrasing the topic, ask yourself if you could address the reader directly. Okay, that's it for today. I really do hope it helped you. Um, and stay tuned for the next ways, uh, for the next videos where I'll show you uh, the, the rest of the ways that you can start uh, writing an introduction apart from paraphrasing the topic. If you found this video helpful, please do like and subscribe and do check out the description box below for useful links to my to other videos, to my website, to my social media, uh, and to my number one recommendation for an uh, IELTS online self-study course that many of my followers have had great success with. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching and good luck with your exam.